Well, welcome to Debbie's Back Porch. So glad to have you with us. I have a new toy. I'm excited. So I thought I would show you all about it. This is my new cordless electric lawnmower. It's a Works WG775 14 inch 24 volt. My grandson Stepan is going to assemble it and we're going to show you that and how it works. This is how it comes in the box. It's very light, about 30 to 35 pounds. And this is all the parts. We'll take these out and show them to you as we put it together. There really aren't very many parts and as Stepan takes them out, I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you this is not one of those reviews where folks gave it to me in exchange for a fair and unbiased review. I bought this. Uh, I'm going to use it and that way you'll get truly a fair and unbiased review. That's the battery, not very heavy. Uh, this is not a lot of parts, I don't think, for a lawnmower. The handle comes in two sections. That's one section. The electric cord. I got this because of its lightweight, uh, and I have a riding lawnmower, but I, I didn't have anything to cut around my garden beds except a weed eater and that's really not good for your garden beds. Uh, it throws the weed seeds back up on uh, your garden bed and then you have to weed them out. So I looked and looked and I needed something that did not have a pull cord. Uh, my arms are not that strong and my back is not that strong so I needed something lightweight. Uh, the rating on this says that it will cut 6,000 square feet, and if you've seen my backyard, it's a pretty good sized backyard. So my hope is that this is going to uh, take care of all my issues that have to do with a lack of physical strength, but a big yard. So you can see with stepping picking that up, it's really not very heavy. And the working part of it is fully assembled. So we're going to finish putting it together for you now, and you can watch. That was, of course, the royal way Stepan's going to put it together. I'm going to film. Uh, the first step is the battery. You want to plug it up and let it get fully charged before you use it. It's really lightweight, simple charger, uh, and on top you can see that it has a tester. It looks as if it's fully charged, but we're going to let it charge while we assemble the mower anyway. So let's look at these parts, and really, there are not very many. There's not a lot of little tiny screws. The only tool you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Everything else just either snaps in or screws in on the provided bolt. So this is pretty easy. Now we're going to read over our directions and spread everything out and then start our assembly. Step one, the lower part of the handle, the handle comes in two parts, uh, goes in, make sure, and this is where you'll need the uh, Phillips head screwdriver, and make sure you have the handle seated properly before you screw the screws in. And I will tell you that we didn't, and we had to undo them and seat the um, handle in more firmly. So then we'll get the other side. I'm kind of timing this so you'll know about how long it takes. And this takes about two or three minutes. Not very long at all. Not counting our redo time, of course. Now we add the top part of the handle. It's a two-part handle. And that's because it's going to fold at that spot. That's the reason they have it separate. Now this would have taken about two or three minutes, except once again, we had a redo. Um, the bolt should have gone in with the um, black handle part on the inside. And if you'll look up at the top, we have the whole thing backwards. So because the um, control on that top module, the electronic module, should be facing up. So if we had done this correctly the first time, it would have taken about two minutes. You see how easy that is. Really, this whole thing could be put together in 15 minutes. It's so easy. 
But you know, Stepan and I were playing and laughing, and so we got a little distracted. Uh, no problem, we can do it over. Assembling the grass catcher takes just a minute. You put on the handle and you spread the bag over the little frame. Two minutes. We flip this over. I want to show you how the wheels adjust. It has three positions and you just manually move the wheel into the different slots. And it clicks right in. And we've set it fairly high here. When I get outside, we may change it, but it, it's really pretty easy to change. Here, I'll show you the other side, and this gives you a better view of the slot. Then you have two little circular braces to hold your electrical cord out of the way, and they just snap right on, not even a minute, 30 seconds maybe. The grass bag slips right on. Easy stuff. If you don't use the grass bag, there's also a little mulching attachment that slides in. You can use one or the other. And I want to show you how lightweight this is. This is me, me with the bad back. You can just lift it up. The grass bag is on there firmly. Let's go cut some grass. So we did wait a couple hours to make sure the battery was fully charged and, and putting it in is so simple. You just drop it down in there. It fits firmly. To crank it up, you push over the little safety lever. Yeah. And lift up on the handle. Starts right up. And this grass in this spot is not very long. Uh, he'll cut just a little bit to show you. But I think we need a little bit more difficult test, so we're going to move to another spot. This is just a little bit longer. And Stefan just remarked that it, it's not as heavy as the vacuum cleaner. Uh, and, and for many people, that's very important, especially folks of my age, you know, being out in the hot sun uh, and, and pushing can be hard. So if you'll see, that does a pretty quick and easy job doesn't bog down at all let's find a little bit harder test so Stephen's going to walk this down through uh, or between a couple of beds and this is very hard to get up close unless you use a weed eater and I, I really hate using a weed eater in the garden so you can see we get pretty close to the beds they'll still have to be a little hand trimming but I think we can stop using that weed eater. And that was one of my goals. But let's do an even harder test. I'm going to tackle some long grass. So see here, this is at the end of the beds next to my neighbor's fence. And this is some pretty long grass. We haven't cut that because the riding mower won't go down through there. And I don't know how well you can see. I'm never sure on a video. But this is really rough ground. Uh, and it... And, and long grass, and really, it cuts right through it uh, without bogging down at all. And it's very easy for me to maneuver. So we have cut for about 15 or 20 minutes. I'll show you the bag. And, and our battery is still on full. But the instructions do say to charge between every use, so I will. But you can see how much grass there is there. And... To be honest, I will probably not use this bag much. I will use the mulcher. The bag really doesn't hold that much, so it may be a pain to change it very often, but you can see I cut a lot. Now, the directions say this folds away for easy storage, and I'm, I'm going to show you how to fold it. You just loosen uh, the knobs on the side and fold it. It really is not very easy to do. Um, so, I mean, I'll just let you know that. You really have to unscrew them almost all the way. Uh, and, and it looks to me as if it's going to scratch it up over a period of time. But it will fold if you need it to. It will hang on the wall if you have a big enough hook. And it's very lightweight. I have plenty of room to store it without folding, so I probably won't. But you can if you want to. So, my summary of this. 
a wonderful little lawnmower is that I would give it like a 4.9 out of 5 and the only knock I have on it is that it really doesn't fold up that well. It was easy to assemble. Uh, the battery seems to have a long life. I'll know that better over time. Uh, if you are mobility impaired, if you have trouble with heavy weights, pushing a lawnmower, cranking a lawnmower, this could be your solution. Once again, I got no consideration for doing this. I just wanted to share it with you because to me, it was wonderful to find a cordless uh, lawnmower. It's in the just under $200 range. There may be some that are less expensive, but this was the least expensive one I found. The lowest price I found was on walmart.com, but there really is not that much difference in the price between vendors. So I hope this was helpful to you if you're making a decision. Uh, thank you for joining us on Debbie's Back Porch. Hope to see you again tomorrow.